Good morning, everybody. This is a message for Ernie Duncan, the Secretary of Education. Hi, Ernie! This is a response to the recent US EdGov YouTube video about the launch of the new Learning Registry Initiative. Link in the description box below. So I was sitting around the other day thinking to myself, well, I just got back from serving my country overseas, and I have nothing better to do right now. I think I'll enroll in college and become a teacher! In order to prepare myself, I've been creating a series of different YouTube videos, partly to improve my public speaking skills, and partly to produce materials that might be usable in my future classroom. This is why I appreciate the Learning Registry Initiative. Now, the Learning Registry is a new internet-based program whereby educators may share educational materials that they can use in the classroom. I like the idea of this program, of course, as I tend to promote any type of program that incorporates new technology into the classroom in order to enhance the education of the next generation of students. Now, I just have one question about this program. How the heck do I use it? Well, okay, two questions. For those of us who have already been using YouTube and other technology to prepare educational materials, will we be able to incorporate these prepared materials into the learning registry? You see, there's a reason why I tend to promote YouTube videos as an educational resource. Mostly because I am a YouTube videographer. Duh! Okay, besides that, nearly every professor that I've ever had in almost every college course that I've taken at the University of Arkansas at Fort Smith has used YouTube videos as a means of enhancing their in-class lectures. My challenge then to my fellow educators is to create and publish as many educational YouTube videos as they use in their lectures. In other words, to give at least as much as you take. This is something that I have endeavored to do myself. I'm not even going to pretend that I'm the most notable YouTube videographer around, but I find it a bit ironic that my educational videos appear to be the most popular ones on my channel. It's also ironic that they require the most time and effort to produce. There are other YouTubers that produce much better material than I do. The problem, as I see it, is that the best videos are produced by the very talented people who have little or no connection to the education industry. Many videographers fill niche areas of concern for society, such as uh, atheism, LGBT issues, or minority rights, the types of topics that educators tend to find too controversial or too confrontational for them to handle. So it falls to these non-educators to provide the information for the rest of society. It requires an incredible amount of time and resources to produce these high quality videos. As such, these YouTubers tend to gravitate towards issues and material that will garner themselves more subscribers and more views and hence more money from the YouTube revenue sharing program. In order to convince these highly talented videographers to create educational videos, we need to be able to compete with the very tempting draw of viewership based advertising money. And educational videos simply do not have that type of draw. There must be some incentive that we can provide for them, but damn it, if I know what it is. There is a concern, of course, that these YouTubers, as talented as they are, simply are not experienced enough in the high standards and specific requirements unique to the production of educational material. People more experienced in educational programs need to filter the material they produce and allow only the best videos to be included in the learning registry. It will need to be somebody who is willing to offer advice to other YouTubers and tell them what is acceptable and what is not, and is willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with other videographers, even if they may be more experienced. And I have nothing better to do right now. In a way, I've already been doing this. I've been spending much of my time scouring YouTube to find the highest quality material that may be usable in the classroom. And not all of it is produced by teachers. As my contribution to this program, I propose that I act as a liaison between the Learning Registry program and the non-educator community. And as an added enticement, I'll do it for free, at least until we get the project rolling. After all, I can't do this all by myself. I still don't know what I'm doing. In short, there is a vibrant community of YouTube videographers producing wonderful, thought-provoking material. Let's take these highly talented, influential, intelligent, albeit sometimes controversial YouTubers, and transform them into YouTube educators. Thank you for your time, Secretary Duncan. Ie Yesu Domine